Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So we finished up in the previous one where we actually created a blade component and what we're going to do in this one is to render that component. Right, so let's quickly go into our standard component that we created. So under App, View, Components, you will see we got our components right there. Okay, so we got our button right here. Let's go to the button. So this is basically our standard component that we're going to basically render. Right. So in order to render this component, I'm using my welcome right here. What in order to render a component, we use a less than, and then we use the X notation. Okay. And then we basically name the class, but in lowercase. Okay. So in this case, as you can see, it underlines that because it recognizes basically the view name. Okay. So as you can see, resources, views, components. So it basically sees that view right there. All right. But now the thing is, let's say we don't have the view and the class name the same. So let's quickly change this to buttons. Right. So basically, I've changed the name from in the class basically so in the class right there i've changed it to buttons and i changed the view also to be under components buttons you will see it's an s right now as you can see if we go to the welcome you will see that it actually renders from the class itself so the button like that okay because if we go to the amp view you will see the button in lowercase like that okay so let's quickly see if we can actually see that submit Right, so this is basically our submits. Let me just remove the S. You will see it updates there as well. So as you can see. So that's basically how we render standard components. All right. The next thing that we want to know is how do we render nested components? Okay. All right. So as you can see, I've created a component where there's a form and then out inside that we got the input. So basically it's in a folder in the components form and then we have input. How do we render this right here? In order to render that, we can basically add a simple dot notation like this. So let's quickly render the form. So form dot notation, and then we can actually just name the class inside that. So in this case, it was form dot input, and then you add it like that. Okay, so let's quickly see if we can actually see this form. Nothing is there. So let's go to the input. As you can see, nothing is here. So let's quickly put an input field like this. Just like that, just to render that. As you can see, we got our input field right here. Okay, so that's basically how we can render nested components. All right. The next thing that we want to know is, let's say you have a class name where the input is basically like this let's say we have a button this class it's an input button where you can actually uppercase input and uppercase buttons just to kind of give a description of name of what it is instead of putting it in a folder how would you render this component in order to render a component like that what we use is we're going to use a kebab case to do that so we're going to do x input then a kebab and then the button like that okay so let's quickly go to that button and let's just change this to be keep up <laughs> just like that all right so let's refresh and now as you can see the keep up like that all right so that's basically how we can do that so if you have a name now as you can see it actually returns the view let me just go to here the input button it returns the view basically in kebab case but let's just change this to be something else let's just rename it to be a button uh, input just for now let's go to that kebab button right there just change it to input okay so that we cannot misconfuse this All right so let's go there now as you can see i'm still using the kebab case so if i refresh you will see nothing changes because is basically how you can because this rendering now from the class like right here the input button like that right so how the next thing is how do we render basically inline components right we created a link right here so let's go there as you can see 
we had a link component that basically extends the component and then we render basically everything from the component itself so as you can see we have the blade syntax that encapsulate the whole thing and then we have the diff right there for that button okay so for this link now let's say we change this to link let's say inline link like this all right so you can obviously add your tailwind styling and everything in this component right here so let's quickly render this component so let's go to our welcome in order to render that all we have to do is we just name the class so in this case it will be x uh, hyphen and let me add the link like this all right so let me just show you and so we've got an app views and you will see we have the link right here so i'm rendering this just a class so x link like that all right so let's quickly see if we can actually see the link so let's refresh now as you can see we got our inline link right here all right so instead of using the welcome i just switch it up to use the guest layout because that makes use of the tailwind classes everything in welcome is basically using its own styling Right, so as you can see, we've got a button, our inline link being displayed right there. So if we go to the class right here, you will see we've got the link being displayed. So you can actually put anything in you want in here. So as you can see, the href, we can go to anything basically that we want to do right here. Right, so basically that's how we display inline components. Now, let's say you, let's just close off, I've got the welcome right there. So instead of let's say you have it being in a nested component so let's say we have this link in a different folder so let's quickly go make a new folder uh, just call it links and let me just move it in there all right so obviously we need to update a couple of things in here so i'm just making an example the only thing to do here obviously to add the links but when you create the inline component don't worry about this it will be updated i'm just doing a shortcut right so let's quickly go so in this case it will be links and then we add a dot notation to go inside that folder and then we just add the link like that so it needs to render right so as you can see we got our inline link being displayed right there right so the other thing that we can do now is let's say we just created a standard component so let me just remove this anonymous component all right for those that might be new anonymous component is just a component that you render basically from the view itself you don't, didn't create any class for that all right so in let's just make anyone so let's just make a new one i'm just going to call this one and dot blade dot php okay so just not to confuse it with anything else and inside here i'm just going to create a div and just render basically an h2 with and like that all right so in order to render basically an anonymous component in order to do that we just use the x notation again right less than x hyphen and basically the name of the view so as you can see we're already showing it there but we got and so under the views you will see we've got the and right there now if this was a nested component we would have used the same thing where you would add the dot notation and then go into that folder All right so that's basically how we can render anonymous components All right so if i refresh this you will see the h2 being rendered with and right there All right so this brings us to an end of this uh episode so if you like the video please give it a like if you have any questions please ask them for me in the comment section i will gladly assist and help you guys all right thank you and see you in the next one adios